So my advice to the four questions, you know, like, do you want to feel this way? Could you let it go? Would you let it go? And when? Um, it, that they, They're ways in which they help you to release on the feelings. And um, the best thing is to kind of think about it on a, on a sliding scale. So you think about on a scale of one to ten. So, you know, one, zero and one is that you are absolutely chilled, absolutely at peace, absolutely calm. And 10 is that you are really, really heightened, um, either either uh, feeling a, a high sense of, of aggression or a high sense of depression or a high sense of anxiety, uh, a high sense of chaos. So, you know, from a scale of one to 10, what you need to be able to do is you keep on releasing until you notice that that scale is coming down. OK, so you don't stop releasing until you've got it down to like a one or a two. And the thing is that what happens is that so initially you replay whatever it is. So, for example, if someone said something to you that you found hurtful, you would replay those words. You would you would associate it with wherever you're holding the, that those feelings and you would do the releasing. So do you want to feel that way? No. Could you let it go? Well, I could. I could change some of it. I could stop myself from listening to it. When would you do that? Well, I'll do it now. So then you breathe in and you exhale and you let it go. And then you might notice that from the 10, you've become a nine. So you, you go back, you go, right. OK, so rethink those thoughts. And I always like to think of it as a bit like fueling the fire so you put whatever you can onto that fire um visualize the person saying it to you hear the words in your head um think of anybody else that might have said something similar to you um and just fuel for the fire put all those things on the fire and then go do i want to feel this way no could i let it go yes i could i could um adjust I could change my behavior so people don't have to say that to me or I could I could change um, the wording or they they've misunderstood me. It's or it's not their fault. They maybe didn't know what they were saying. Whatever it is, you just release on it. Uh, you you think about what you could do and then you think, would you do that and when? And um, and then, you you know, when you decide that right now is when you're going to let it go, you breathe in. And then you and you let it go. You let it you exhale and you let it go and you soften everything within you. And then you ask yourself where you are on your sliding scale. And you might have gone from maybe a nine to a to a six. But again, six is still quite aware and quite heightened. So you you repeat it and you repeat it and you repeat it until you bring it right down to um, a, a one or a two and what what I have found is that um, all the stuff that I try to think about in order to build that fire up and in order to really get the sense of um, either the, the shame or the injustice or the guilt or the anger or the fear or the anxiety I find what happens is that I start getting to a point where I, I can't actually think about it anymore that the thoughts aren't coming and that's when you start to realize that you've you've let it go. It's no longer um, activating in you. And when you get it all the way down to like a sort of one or a two, what I found with my years and years, and let's face it, since 2009, I mean, you know, we're, we're talking 10, 12, 14 years, whatever. When I've really properly released on something, it just never comes back. And I can get rid of feelings that have been really quite prominent uh, and and powerful and I can release on them and, and then they're just not activated anymore. It really is totally freeing. So um, it's it's been incredible. It's been the one thing that has absolutely changed my life. And I really hope by sharing it um, over these these several videos because I'm trying to keep the videos short but as you can see this is now four minutes it's impossible with these ones but it's absolutely incredible